Allstate gave me $1,100 to try to convince me to not get the car fixed. Let's see how much it actually cost. Well, today is finally the day. It's been over two months since Lincoln crashed his car, or since a nice old lady actually ran into his car. And some of you are probably asking, why has it taken two months in order to get your car into the auto body shop to get fixed? Well, it's been quite the process. We had one month of dealing with Allstate, the other person's insurance that's going to pay for the fix. They were not very responsive. I did not feel like I was in the best of hands, but they finally gave us some approvals in order to get this car fixed. And then the second problem is there are so many Teslas and not enough Tesla auto body shops that it's hard to get your car into the Tesla auto body shop. We did this a couple of years ago when somebody hit my wife's Model X. It took about two weeks for them to fix the entire Falcon wing door and get it all going. Here in Las Vegas, Nevada, whenever you call the Tesla auto body service number, it transfers you to one of three places. Two of them aren't even Tesla auto body shops. They're just auto body shops that are contracted with Tesla. And today I am dropping it off at the actual Tesla auto body. So here is the damage. It's all on this side right here with this panel with this plastic right here. If you never saw the video where he got in the accident, essentially this is what happened. He was at lunch with his high school buddies, went to Jimmy John's, was in a parking lot. There was an open space next to him. When this car came up, turned and was a little too close to his and actually hit his car with their right bumper, went through it and then was like, oh no, we just hit this car. We better back out. And so they backed out, but they didn't go straight back out. They turned again to back out. And so it was like a double whammy. They hit the car going both directions. But in the end, the people just drove around, parked, actually went into the restaurants and tried to say, hey, is somebody on a blue Tesla out there? But Lincoln didn't hear them when they came into Jimmy John's. And then Lincoln walked out, saw what happened. They fully owned up to it and were committed to fixing it. So we filed a police report submit it to their insurance and it took forever for them to get back to me. Allstate was like dropping my calls, not returning my emails. The app kept crashing on me. It was really weird. It was almost like they were sabotaging me to make sure that I didn't actually file the claim. And as far as money goes, they deposited $1,100 into my checking account. And I think they kind of was hoping that I would just go away and so um, and not get it fixed and just take the money because obviously it's going to cost more money to get this fixed. But as of right now, I have eleven hundred dollars. I'm going to drop it off. They said they would give me twenty four dollars a day for a car rental. I don't know how that's going to be enough. We're going to drop this off, hopefully get that car rental and then uh, see what happens over the next few weeks. Navigate to Tesla Auto Body Shop. Oh, there it is. Okay, this is the place. This is, uh, it's like a little hidden auto body shop. It does say Tesla on the front, but it's uh, it's kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Strange little place. This used to be the Tesla service center back in the day before they built the big one across town. So um, we made it to this place. Unfortunately, as far as a rental car goes, Allstate, like I've said, I don't mean to bash on Allstate, but they've been terrible to work with. They will authorize $26.68 a day for a rental car through Enterprise but they won't set it up for you. I am traveling to Los Angeles right now for 24 hours for work, for a meeting. So now I have to Uber to the airport for $40, Uber back here tomorrow for $40 in order to get my $26 a day rental that I can use for a couple of weeks. Makes a lot of sense. Thanks for that one, Allstate. <laughs> And I'm not gonna film inside of this building because it's a Tesla shop and it's a uh, private property. So let's drop it off and get to the airport. All right, so here's the deal. It is June 10th today, and I just got the word that the thing is finally done. What's funny is I'm officially a caddy for Lincoln today at a golf tournament. That's why I'm wearing these funny clothes and this caddy bib that has weird pockets. So the fastest way that I could get home is to leave here take an Uber to the airport, leave my Tesla here with Lincoln, fly to Las Vegas, pick up the car, drive it home, and then drive it for like six and a half hours 
back up to here so Lincoln has his car. And then we can get his thoughts on what does it look like, all that stuff. And I'm just abandoning him right now, halfway through day one. He's gonna have to stay here by himself tonight. He's gonna have the car, he's gonna stay at our little apartment all by himself. From February 26th to June 10th, the car is finally finished. Let's start the trek to go get it. I've made it to Las Vegas. It's time to pick up the car. There's one, two, three blue Model Ys that are here. Apparently that's a very popular car to get into an accident. And I just looked on my phone. The interior of the car is 151 degrees. That's hot. This sounds like the one. This is it. Not really cleaned on the front, but hopefully at least the side is good. All right, that's just, here we go. Oh yeah, that looks good actually. That looks clean. That looks fixed. Nice. The back is good. Yeah, looks pretty good. All right, here we go. Here we go, we got Lincoln. Here's the car. Come take a look for your first time. Oh, look at that. That's great. How does got, it look? I got nervous for a second because I thought it was gonna be like, not painted or something like you were like let me film your reaction really quick it's all wrecked still it's like yeah. purple pink That's great. but do they you, did tesla do a good job at fixing it did they you give did a good job it just took way too long in my opinion it took forever For, yeah so long forever but nice to have a all right you hop in your car it's like you got a brand new car oh look at this his independence is back all right so lincoln how does it feel to have your car back feels really good um your car's really nice, but I think I enjoy driving this one more. Through picking up this car and driving it back, this is crazy to say, and people ask me this all the time, like, what's your favorite Tesla? I think the Model Y drives better than the S and the X, which is crazy. It doesn't have as good of shocks, but I like the ride and I like the feel of the shock. Sometimes it's a little bumpier when we're riding over things, but overall, it just feels really compact. The acceleration is nice. It's the braking height, is nice. It's a really good height. Like your car, it's a little low. I mean, maybe just because I'm more used to this. But yeah, the height of height. this is nice. It's a little off the ground, unlike yeah. the Model 3, which is lower, and also my Model S. So this is a really, really good car. How much do you think it cost? $11,100. Ooh, that's a good guess. That's, that's a little much. They gave me the full on bill. It is paid. Let's see how much it actually cost. The parts, the actual physical parts for this vehicle are $2,001. The rental car was $860, which I didn't use for the whole time, so it would have cost maybe $1,000 if I would have kept it the whole time. Just the labor, so the efforts of fixing everything, which I think the labor they charge $65 per hour of work, and the total amount was $5,580. It's kind of interesting that the labor cost more than double what the actual parts cost to fix it but I guess that makes sense. It's not easy to fix things like that. With taxes and everything, it was $8,608. $8,600 to fix this car in total. And now we have it back and it actually looks beautiful. Like you can't even tell that it was in like an accident. What I suspect was happening is that Tesla was working with Allstate to try to get approval for how much extra it cost to get this car fixed. And they didn't want to give us the car until they got paid. Did anybody actually guess the correct date of when the car would come back because if you remember we'll go back to the video I kind of threw this out there how long do you think it'll be May 15th right before school's out April 30th no okay no April 20th April 19th March 30th end of May we went back to the video and looked at it Lincoln what's your guess do you think somebody actually guessed it no way, because the thing is, is this took way longer than I think anyone really would expect it because it's such a small thing and it took so many months yeah, to fix. Yeah, February 26th all the way to June 10th. That's very many days to get your car fixed. And it wasn't like we were slacking on the process. Like we were from day one calling Allstate, calling Tesla, trying to get the appointments right set up. Right when the car was done, flew from Salt Lake to Vegas. Yeah. Like not, not much time wasted. Right, and there was one person there we go. Cole O'Shea said June 10th, two Cole months ago. Cole O'Shea, yeah. two months ago. So that's like, that's legit. So Cole O'Shea, 
um, I'm gonna respond to you on your message and I need you to respond back to me from that same account and we will connect and I am going to give you a prize. <laughs> so there we go, that ends the drama of his car getting in its first accident and it got back. It's so back. I'm grateful that it wasn't an accident, that anybody was in there, that anybody was harmed. I'm also grateful that um, it was a small thing so that the car is fixed and it's back and good. Yeah. And I'm also grateful that I didn't have to pay for it. So thank you to the people that hit it for actually having insurance and for their insurance, even though they were a pain to deal with. Like, I don't know that I would ever get Allstate after seeing what I saw through this process. Yeah. I am grateful that the insurance actually covered it. So at least there's that. So yeah, we are still in Northern Utah right now. Lincoln has a billion golf tournaments. So we're just doing golf tournaments all the time. Let me know in the comments. I haven't filmed any of his golf tournaments or done a vlog around it. Would you like to see some of his golf and maybe see a tournament or a vlog around the tournament? And like, we're st we rented a house up here. I haven't shown it because we've just been doing golf stuff, but if a lot of people said in here that they want to see a golf video, would you be cool if we did a golf video? Yeah, probably. I'd like it more if it was like a high school tournament. So in a couple months, mm, but okay. I don't know, one of these tournaments maybe. We are going to a really cool place in Florida for like a golf camp. And that's not really a tournament. If you guys want us to do a golf video, let us know in the comments. For now, the Tesla is repaired. Tesla Auto Body did a great job, even though it took a long time. I think they are ramping up their service centers just right here in Utah. They're building a new Tesla service center in Pleasant Grove, Utah. That's gonna have superchargers even in Utah County, which is big time. But um, yeah, Tesla's ramping up. They are great cars. It does take a while to get things fixed, but they did a good job. So, all right, don't get any more accidents, okay? Okay, try. Lincoln, what did you think when I walked up to you on the course and I'm like, hey, your car's ready, I'm leaving you for the I, night. I See was ya. really excited uh, because I was gonna get my car back and we've been waiting, we've been getting all these different messages for so long, but I was a little confused. I was a little nervous to drive for my first time really up in this bigger city because the freeways are like, six, seven, eight lanes. That's true. And there's just a lot of chaos, but it, it worked out, it worked out. And there was only a couple of days where, one day that I had to be like alone driving myself for the golf course. Were you stuff. sad that I was leaving your golf tournament or were you more happy that I was just getting your car? It was a bit of both. I was a little sad, but I was just <laughs> happy to get my car back. That's nice. I thought he would just say that he was just happy to get the car back. So that was a nice thing to say. I don't know, they, these are like little connectors for the body. And I think they popped it out and then they, put it in the drink holder and never took it back. Never threw them away, so yeah. You get to keep those. They're little, they're, they're for like the bumper or something. That's your key. Nice, Chip.